Truck Tire Puncture Repair Procedures Caution! Always dismount the tire from the wheel before using a probe, grinding attachment, or repair tool. An aerosol tire sealer inflator could have a chemical additive that is extremely combustible and could ignite from using such tools. Always wear safety glasses when repairing tires. Do not repair a tire if there is two thirty seconds inch or less of tread on any two adjacent tread grooves. The tire is not legal for use on U.S. highways. The tire cord or steel belt is exposed or if there are flex brakes or severe sidewall abrasions. There is any evidence of a separation in the tread area or the sidewall of the tire. There is any evidence to indicate that the tire has been run flat. Do not inflate, as reinflation could result in serious injury. Dismount the tire and inspect it for inner liner damage. There are punctures or damage in the shoulder or sidewall areas. Never use any rim that is bent, pitted from corrosion, cracked, or worn. Remove rust, dirt, or foreign materials from rim parts. Always inflate the tire to its maximum allowed pressure. Do not overinflate. Check the surface and the valve for the source of the leak or leaks by using water, soap solution, or a leak detector. Locate the injury and circle it with a crayon. Remove the valve core to deflate the tire. Dismount and inspect the inside of the tire on a well-lighted spreader for inner liner cracks, open splices, exposed tire cord or steel belts, broken beads or bead wires, bulges or blisters, or other interior damage. If any damage other than a 3 8 inch maximum puncture injury in the tread area is present, refer to a full-service repair facility. Repairable Areas and Limits Puncture repair procedure for truck tires with 3 8 inch maximum size injury in the tread area only. Do not repair sidewall or shoulder injuries. Locate the injury and circle it with a tire crayon. Make sure the tire is repairable. Do not invert radial tires. Remove the foreign object and probe the injury with an awl to determine the angle of penetration. If the angle of penetration is less than 20 degrees from perpendicular, either the two-piece plug-in patch or the one-piece pilot wire patch plug unit may be used. Clean the area around the injury with patch rubber cleaner fluid and a scraper. Using a low-speed drill, maximum 500 to 700 RPM, and a carbide cutter, ream the injury following the angle of penetration from the inside and outside of the tire. Use proper eye protection. Hook the plug stem onto the pulling wire and remove the poly. Coat the entire plug with patch rubber fast dry self vulcanizing cement. While the cement is still wet, push the wire puller through the injury from the inside of the tire. Grasping the wire, use a steady pull until one half inch of the plug stem is exposed outside the tire. Using a flexible knife, cut the plug on the inside of the tire one eighth inch above the inner liner. Be careful not to stretch the plug when cutting. Good. Making sure that the bead arrows of the repair unit are pointing to the beads, center the repair unit over the injury. Use a tire crayon and outline an area one half inch larger than the repair unit. Use a 2500 RPM low speed buffer and a buffing rasp to buff the plug and the outlined inner liner area to an RMA number one buffing texture.
Be careful not to buff through the inner liner. Vacuum to remove the buffing dust. Use a soft brass bristle brush to remove any remaining debris. Apply a light coat of patch rubber cleaner fluid to the buffed area, scrape it clean, and allow it to dry. Apply an even coat of patch rubber fast dry self vulcanizing cement to the buffed area. Allow the cement to dry until tacky. Never use blow dryers, compressed air, or heat lamps to facilitate drying. Drying time is affected by temperature and humidity. When the cement is dry, partially remove the poly backing from the patch, leaving just enough to hold the patch. Do not touch the back of the patch. With the beads of the tire in the relaxed position, apply the patch to the buffed area, making sure that the bead arrow points to the bead. Remove the remaining poly from under the patch. Stitch the repair unit vigorously from the center, working outwardly. Use as much hand pressure as possible. Remove the top cover film. Apply patch rubber repair sealer to the overbuff area. After inflating, cut the plug flush with the outside tread area. Return the tire to service.